Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about why do we decided to move from H2 and what does this transition bring to the community. But first, a few words about myself. My name is Konstantin. I'm a lead software engineer at GreenGain. Also, I'm a Apache Ignite committer. And for the last year and a half, I've been working on our new SQL engine powered by Apache Calcite. I'm very excited that I have a chance to work on this project because I believe this will bring the SQL support in Apache Ignite on a whole new level. Uh, you can see it for yourself or you could try it with uh, Apache Ignite 2. New engine is available in Apache Ignite starting from uh, the version 2.13 as experimental one or you could try it with our new and shiny Apache Ignite 3. Uh, where uh, this engine becomes an only option. So uh, let's start with a little bit history of uh, SQL support in Apache Ignite. And uh, this starts with H2. H2 is an open source uh, relational database management system. It's very lightweight, it's written in Java, it could be run embedded into your application. H2 is a great database, but it was designed as a centralized one, and thus it enables to plan and execute query in distributed environment. But Apache Ignite, as you may know, is a distributed system. So, in order to address this problem, uh, we had introduced a query processor which uh, works in the following way. So, uh, initial query is analyzed and split onto two phases. The first one, uh, named map, is executed on the node that actually holds the data. The second phase, named reduce, is executed on the initiator node. On this phase, all results gathered on the map phase are merged together and the final result is returned to a client. Turns out, such an approach has a fundamental flow. Uh, not every query could be represented by a single iteration of a MapReduce execution. Besides, these days uh, we see that many more companies are migrating to distributed databases uh, that speak SQL natively. And with a larger adoption comes a higher demand for a SQL support that is comparable to traditional databases like Postgres and Oracle. So, at some point, we had grown up from H2's capabilities. So, what do we want? Uh, we want a query processor to handle more complex queries. We want more control over actual query execution to keep track of resource consumption, like memory, for example, or may, uh, make any improvement to the execution. Well, uh, we want more control over query planning to introduce an optim uh, optimization to a planning phase and finally we want a planner to respect the data distribution. Uh, turns out we wanted Apache Calcite. Apache Calcite is an open source framework for building databases and data management systems. Uh, this is a fairly major project, uh, the development of which began already in the earlier 2000s and in 2013 the project came under control of the Apache Software Foundation. Uh, Apache Calcite offers uh, rich functionality uh, which includes SQL parser, query validator, uh, query optimization engine which support to strategies, uh, cost based on heuristics and also it includes uh, an execution engine. So Besides, from the very beginning, it was designed as a framework and as a result, it's highly customizable. Uh, it's written in Java as well, that is an integration. And what's more important, it's uh, aware of data distribution. So it's able to plan a distributed query out of the box. Okay, now let's talk about the benefits uh, which new engine give, gives to us. And as a user, we get an ability to, uh, to run query of arbitrary complexity. Also, uh, it, uh, give, 
gives an ability uh, not being bothered but about uh, data collocation. Uh, you've probably seen this sign, this banner on the documentation page which uh, said so, uh, you have to either collocate your data or a set a special property to <coughs> Uh, set a special property otherwise the result may be incorrect with new engine uh, the result will be always correct and uh, also it gives us uh, multiple optimization which is uh, uh, related to a distributed query execution uh, and finally it uh, gives us a tree-like output of explain command and here is just an example so uh, that's how it looks like an old engine it's uh, basically a text of the query with commands and that's how it looks in new engine mm. also uh, it gives uh, some benefits for those who want to contribute to the new engine and as a developer we get an extensible query parser uh, to add a custom command uh, you only need to describe the grammar of this command in a bnf like form and after that uh, generate a new parser for this grammar uh, so the new engine give us a state-of-the-art query planner based on scientific papers Vulkan and Cascades uh, which is uh, very easy to uh, extend with new rules and support of new relational operators as well and finally it gives us execution engine which was written from scratch that gives us a full control over the execution and hence a control over resources. Well, what about downsides? And the first downside is uh, planning time. It takes a little bit more time to prepare a query in the new engine than the old one. So also it takes much more time for to prepare a query with uh, many tables in join operator. The last part why that engine is still considered as an experimental not all optimization which presented in the old engine have been ported to the new one so uh what's next well first of all we're going to address all downsides we, we mentioned before we're going to introduce out of memory protection to protect the node being terminated because of out of memory error if you know the last one to provide manual optimization for planning and uh, execution time. That's all. So thank you for your time.